Hey guys, welcome back. It's November 19th and we're out here again on our property. We've gotten a lot done since our last video. Yeah, since our last video, we've started and completed all of the block work for the garage, our front porch, our little integrated flower bed, concrete columns, and we've also erected the steel columns for our rear deck, pumped all of our concrete, done all of our slabs, and we're trenching our utilities now. And that pretty much is it in this video, I think. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. We're building our own modern off-grid home here in the mountains of North Carolina, and we'd love for you to follow along. So let's get into it. No cutting, no nothing. <laughs> I think I'm the world's worst block mason. It's not my thing. Perfecto. <laughs> this one's a uh, half inch high, yeah. But I'll, I'll fix it. This one was uh, this one was trace quarters. Now it's perfect. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, patrón, patrón, vaya. <laughs> Well, I remember before we started the block, you were like, yeah, I mean, it would probably take, you know, actual block workers a couple days. It'll probably take us about a week. <laughs> it's like, it's what? About, it's probably been a week and a half, probably. Of, yeah. Oh. <laughs> What'd you drop in there? Did you get it? <laughs> nice. Hey Mauricio, the drone's pretty smart, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All right, guys, we're out here putting the finishing touches on our foundation. Um, the block work is pretty much done. And uh, one thing we did on this house due to the rocky soil is we kind of placed our footings independent of one another. So there was no set elevation. We just did what we could do. Um, and that created a little issue for this flower bed here in the front porch. 
Um, since they were independent of the piers, we have to bring the flower bed up about an inch and then put our cap on top and we need to bring the front porch up about six inches and then pitch it towards the front so water uh, dissipates off the porch. So this formwork you see here, we're gonna pour these walls solid full of concrete and it's gonna have an integrated cap on top, which is just a place to terminate our stone. So this will be a two inch stone veneer on the walls here and they'll come up and they'll terminate into the cap so you don't see the edge of the stone. So that's why we're doing all this and we're about finished. Hey. <laughs> That's an unsettling feeling. Camera. <laughs> That's gonna make it in the, uh, the in YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> trying to do is where I want this to start sloping. I'm trying to put a rebar perfectly square here and there on each one. That way when they're sloping this, they know where to slope it. Yeah. I guess the easiest way is to pull a string off of that, this and measure over, make sure it's straight. And then just come over five feet, yeah. It's gotta be, it's gotta be square, yeah. Where are we going?
Mauricio. <laughs> Okay guys, so we are really excited to be at this point in the project where all of the foundation is complete and our infrastructure is pretty much complete. Now we can get on to what I'm personally comfortable with, which is from the foundation up. Um, if, I had a, if I had a time machine, I could, would go back in time and definitely hire someone or even <laughs> wait until my subcontractor was available to do the block work. You did good with the blog. It's okay. It, it was a definite learning curve. It's you can a lot tell harder. where you started yeah. and where you finished. You could tell where we started versus where we finished. It progressively gets better and better. I but would it's say, okay because our block's going to get covered up with yeah. stone. Well, most of it. The garage is a little uneven, but that gets uh, furred out on the exterior, and the siding will on the home or on the garage will appear to go straight to the dirt. Um, for a cleaner look, we didn't want to divide the garage um, horizontally with stone and siding. So we'll, we'll make that look pretty good at the end. So that's covered up on the inside of the garage. We're gonna cover that with some pressure treated lumber and pack that out and give ourselves a little uh, ledge around the garage, which is nice to have for paint cans and bug spray mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Another kind of interesting challenge that we ran into here, it was, just personal preference, I guess, but our driveway, probably 80 feet in front of our garage, is the steepest point on this entire driveway where the grade is, I think, 16%. Uh, At least that's what my truck says. But it's pretty steep, so the, the driveway comes into the garage and gets a little more gradual. But at the garage itself, we didn't want um, a sharp edge to where a lower vehicle would you know, get hung up on the garage. So we dropped the garage floor three and a half, almost actually four and a quarter inches um, right there where the garage doors will sit. That way we basically took the corner off of that uh, approach to the garage so you won't scrape the or bottom out your car. What was, the, what was the most challenging part, do you think? The block. The block was the most challenging. For sure. <laughs> you couldn't pay me to do block again. I don't know. Putting up those steel beams seemed pretty challenging. Yeah, but that was over in like an hour versus yeah. days and days. I guess and you got to go home and know it was over. Yeah. Yeah, the block sucked, for sure. 
A couple other things you probably saw in this video, we pulled the formwork off of our concrete uh, planter and front porch. And you'll notice there's a kind of a delicate looking uh, lip around the edge of it. And it is de delicate. Um, basically the point of that ledge is to cap the stone veneer that's gonna go around this front porch and planter area. And uh, so in case you were wondering, that's what that's for. The one for the planter is a smooth finish and we're gonna have to do some touch up and filler and um, yeah, we had a we had an accident with the and, with the uh, edge of the planter. Nobody will ever know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I broke a six inch chunk off with uh, trying to pull the formwork off. That was totally my fault. But um, adds character. Yeah, uh, tonight is supposed to get down in the twenties. So on the way out here, you'll probably see footage of us putting blankets over all this freshly poured concrete. And in the next video, you'll see us begin construction on our floor system, which I'm really excited about. And the floor system is pretty complicated on this house. A lot of engineered lumber, heavy stuff. And then, yeah, and then it's vertical from there. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. Ha, ha, ha.